Hey, you doing everybody? My name is Anthony and welcome back to Heavy Rain. And right now it looks like I'm about to interrupt Kramer from practicing his golf swing, but I think his security guard over here has something else is gonna have something to say about it. Um, I guess let's see what happens. Sir, do you have a problem with me talking to your boss over there? Yeah, I'm just gonna go talk to him. Kramer, how are you doing? Do you know your son's a serial killer? I think I think he knows already. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Right, whatever you say. Probably gonna fail though. I can pass all the fighting scenes, but swinging a golf club? Nah, that's where I draw the line. The balls are in that basket. Thank you. Let's see how this works out. Probably not very well. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Alright. E. Feet shoulder width apart. Hands firmly gripped on the club. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name for a second. Pick it up above the shoulder, right click, and you swing. Beautiful. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what you got. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Yes, I was. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. All right. Maybe this will be a little bit better. Set the feet. Set the hands. There we go. Get a couple strokes in. To lift it above the shoulder. And then you go... Uh, what I am? Oh, God damn! That's a 500-yarder right there. <laughs> My oh, son I, had nothing I barely to do broke 100. <laughs> I didn't even break 100. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. I think it's really good, though. I mean, for his only second swing. I have no swing. business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. It is my job, sir. I can't go off your word alone. I need evidence. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Exactly. Don't back down, Scott. Bring it back up a little bit. Wow! Hell yeah. I'm Better an by the influential minute. man, Mr. Shelby. And I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? None. I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. I regret a lot of things. That doesn't scare me anymore. I'm about to get an angry swing out of him now. Made him mad. Can't buy me, Kramer. Scott is on the straight and narrow. And that's why we love him. Back to Ethan again. We gonna go on another... Uh, actually, no, we're going to... Where are we going? We're going to an address. It said, uh, do you want to make a sacrifice for your son? Something like that. I guess we're gonna find out what that sacrifice is. Oh, broke three inches. Halfway there, Ethan. Better speed it up. No, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Damn. Cleanliness, cleanliness is not on the priority list, I guess. This is definitely not the place I want to make sacrifices in. What, what is this, a lizard? Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Break it, see what's inside. Uh, there you go. 
Anything in there? Do I get a fortune cookie? Might, will my fortune be told to me? I'm just gonna break every single- Oh, there's one in here. Was there spare change? Come on. Oh, it's key. I will take that. Alright, making progress. There we go. What's inside? Is it more lizards? Nope, it's a tablet. This reminds me of like a saw trap. Now it actually really does remind me of a saw trap. You play me. <coughs> Why is my voice so hoarse? Horse, Jesus. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers Excuse me? in front of the camera. Oh my god. If you succeed, you will get your reward. I mean, it's not one of my fingers, it's Ethan's fingers. I don't feel the pain. So I won't hesitate. Uh, oh, actually, I just need to find something to cut my finger off with. Ethan, walk! Oh, broken glass. Take a jar, take a jar and smash it. What is this? What did I just pick up? I don't know. Is there a knife in here? Like, a rusty one? <laughs> Might need a couple shots after I'm done, but... What's in this? What, what is in the sink? Come work! Work, please! No, check the cabinets. What was- I didn't even see what that was. You have four minutes yeah, I know. And 30 a flask? I don't, I don't need a flask. I'll put it down anyway. Yeah, I got my whiskey. No, I'm, I'm all set. Oh, uh, there's something behind me, something behind me. What is this? Oh god, damn. I mean, that would work. Alright, I think I got everything. Um, just check the bathroom one more time. There was something on the ground there that I didn't see. Or didn't pick up yet. What's in here? Is that scissors? I think it was. Is that just a, that's just a pipe. Or rebar. What am I look- what are you looking at? Put the fucking pipe down. I can cut off my fingers with what I have. Let's take- I can't even- let's- let's take a drink of this. Take- take a swig. Just numb the pain a little bit. Drink up. I don't think that's gonna do much, but- Take another one! We're getting fucking hammered while we do this. Ethan, we don't have time to be a casual drinker. All right, three minutes, three minutes. What is this? Surgical stuff. What is this? Hopefully... You have three minutes and 30 seconds I would like, left. I'd like to know what it is so I don't get infected or something. Sterilize the area. Uh, I want the knife. I don't want serrated scissors. The cleaver. All right, here we go. Bring it up. <coughs> what are you coughing for? Try it. Do it. Do it. No hesitation, you can't think about it. Okay. One fell swoop, and your finger is gone. Come on, Ethan, just do it. Do it for Sean. Do it for Sean. That's... No. Do I need to tap? I don't think I need to tap A and Q at the same time. Why? I'm tapping Q. I might have to hold it. I do it. Right, I do have to hold it. E. Ah, uh, both down. There you go. Push down harder. There we go. It's over, Ethan. Don't... It's all over. Just breathe. Oh, there was a hacksaw on the ground there. Or a regular saw. Damn. This is actually the best voice acting for Ethan in this entire game. That is the clock stop. Thank you, ma'am. It's all over now, Ethan. You can just take your pinky and go. Alright. Next clue. Or, next video. These don't give me clues. These give me, these give me letters. John, I can't even see. He's like up to his mouth. Can I get more letters this time? Rose- that's- the bottom word is obviously Roosevelt. Now you just need the top- the top letters and numbers. I think there's only two left. 
Two trials left. All right, Ethan, proud of you. <laughs> well, back to Madison. What's Madison doing on this fine rainy morning? That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. This isn't Perfect. Madison. Nobody this is the moves cops. until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. Damn. What's he doing in there? Cho me. Chopping his fingers You're the off. Profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. Oh, hey, Madison. Can I help me? I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. The cops are right there. She doesn't even know. There. Mars comes out now. She's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Want to get her out? No. Stand down. I, I love this type of stuff when all the characters come together. And here we go. Ethan, do not come out this door. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. This place is Ethan, a livable place to be in. The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. Oh, she knows they're out there. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Oh, shit. I need I have a time limit. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Shit. Ethan, help me out. God damn, this, this is not a very big room. Here we go. Madison, some urgency, please. Uh, right click. Ah! Nice. Let's go, Ethan. Get your ass up. Oh, more more berries. Get that out of here. Ah! Is there still another one? Are you serious? This place is going to be completely raided by the time you're done, Madison. Ah! This is not the time to wipe your hands. Let's go. Uh, up. Shit. It's too high. Did I do all that for nothing? Is there something I can stand on? Oh, here we go. Just pick it up. Drag it on over. Uh, there we go. go. Dip, 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 dip. Push it, Madison. Push it. Come on. I'm on a strict time limit here. Do not give that order, Blake. Ready on my go. Come, dude, don't Stay give it. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Madison, hurry up. Go. <laughs> no, you're getting raided. God damn it. What? Ethan. Get up. Come let's on, go. Let's go this way. Come on, go. Am I Ethan now? I'm Ethan now. I think. I don't know. Use your legs, Ethan. Come on. You're not getting arrested today. I don't know why Madison is doing all of this for, for Ethan, but I'm not going to question it. Perfect timing. Well, not really. They know I jumped out the window. They did, they did, did they not see her? Oh, he's going to. Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. Bullshit. I can't. Shoot, Hands shoot me then. No. Shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow them. No, we're not. We're in the subway. The subway. Let's go, Ethan. This way, this way, this way. Why does it feel kind of unresponsive? This game is weird with the controls sometimes. Alright, made it to the subway. Kinda. Blake, don't see me. Your arm is sticking through her neck. <laughs> that, was, that was a clean getaway, if I say so. Myself. Oh, not, not away yet. Just had to load in the environment. Alright, get to the first, first subway you see. Ethan, Ethan, what's the matter? Having a heart attack. Going. Ethan! Ethan, they're coming! Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he was afraid of crowds. I forgot about that. Alright, just gotta get to turn to the, the friggin' escalators, and then we're all good. We're home free, Ethan. I don't I don't know how they're outrunning these guys. But here we go. 
Careful. These are the, the worst detectives in America. <laughs> or the slowest, at least. Get out of the way, people! Who are you gonna shoot, Blake? Yeah, that's what I thought. You gonna shoot a civilian? You're not that good. That guy's gonna walk off the edge. Just need to disappear into the crowd. Or into the tracks. Do I actually need to get onto the tracks? Nope. Get down. Quick. Quick. Ethan Quick is gonna hit us. Is this a good decision? I don't know. Yeah, you better get off the middle of the tracks, though, to be quite honest with you. There we go. Here we go. Up. Oh, get up. Get up. This is the hard part. I see it coming, Ethan. Oh! Go! Ethan, help me, please! Go! Whoa, that tr that got there pretty fast. Damn. We've got to get on that train, Ethan. Yeah, I know. It's our only chance. Oh, nice. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, no. no, yeah. Clean getaway. God, these cops are horrible. <laughs> yeah, these guys should have been arrested in about 30 seconds. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway. Ethan is in shock. They will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Oh, well, that's... damn. Talk about jumped into conclusions. I guess that's the news for you. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. You bought every food in the world? That's kind of crazy. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. Yeah, same with me. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. No shit. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Is Are it you the true? killer, Ethan? <laughs> yes, I am. Now you're my next victim. Confide, evade, break. I'm gonna confide. Is that the right decision? I don't know if that's the right decision. Might as well be. I like Madison. I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? Well, I cut my own finger off. <laughs> I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I would love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Damn, that's fucked up. Why can't you tell that to the police? I spit on my screen. <laughs> and tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. Damn, I, that's really good writing. I like that a lot. <laughs> you can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own.
I mean, she is the reason you're still not in police custody. I think you kind of need her help. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode of Heavy Rain here. And, you know, uh, Ethan now thinks he's pretty convinced that he's the killer, which also kind of confuses me with Scott's story of him thinking Kramer's son is the killer and Kramer's son literally telling Scott that he is the killer. So I wonder how that will unfold and how it will connect back to Ethan. I guess we'll find out later in the game. So for now, I'm Rivadechi.